Now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Hi again, everyone. The SIU softball team hosting the Missouri Valley Conference softball tournament, of course, in Carbondale. The Saluki scheduled to play Illinois State in the quarterfinals, but we just had a marathon breakout out there in Carbondale, so they have to wait. But Jess is going to tell us all about that right now as we head out live to Jess Todd. Well, Todd, we had two marathons today. We had Murray State and Indiana State earlier go to 12 innings in the second game of the day. So we avoided the weather to get a delay. But then the third game, Missouri State against Belmont, that just happened. Another one that went to extra innings, both of them at one to one. And the Salukis could do nothing but just kind of watch on and see what was happening. We went to 15 innings in this game. The Salukis actually started joining in with some of the Missouri State fan section that I was sitting around. They were awesome. And the Salukis were cheering with the Bears right there. Here's a look at some of those Bears fans I just mentioned. Everybody fired up for some late inning action. Finally, the 15th inning. Belmont breaks through. Sacrifice fly. Throw to the plate just not in time. Belmont scores. They go up 2-1. to one. That would be the final. But around the same time, the Salukis found out that due to NCAA regulations, they weren't going to be able to get their their game in in time as well as with a threat of weather that's still coming. Rain scheduled to start here in about 10 to 15 minutes. So a combination of factors has made the Salukis push their quarterfinal game to tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. If they win, they'll have to play later in the day in the semifinals. But what a crazy whirlwind, Todd. Unbelievable day here at Charlotte West Stadium. We'll try to see if we can get some highlights for tomorrow, though. All right, Jess, great stuff out there. What a, a crazy day indeed. The Ohio Valley Conference regular season champion, top-seeded SEMO softball team opening up play in the OVC tournament against UT Martin. But I don't think this is what the Red Hawks had in mind. Uh, UT Martin was already up 2-0. And watch the play as just a dive on the first base. A great play by Ana Hazelwood to make that play. And it was also a banner day really for the offense and defense. Uh, Bloom right here, drives one out to the outfield, good enough to score two more, made it four to nothing. And then we just mentioned uh, that Bloom, the center fielder, she makes another great play right there. And that would end it, seven to nothing. UT Martin with the upset win. Uh, they'll play Eastern Illinois tomorrow at three. Red Hawks fall the elimination bracket. All this being played in Oxford, uh, Alabama. They'll play Tennessee State, the Red Hawks will, at 10 o'clock in the morning. New head coach in place for the Jackson girls basketball team, naming, naming Angela Fulton to take over the program. Coach Fulton spent six years at Perryville, excuse me. She served as varsity head coach for five of those. And by the way, Fulton's teams won three consecutive Jefferson County Athletic Association Conference titles. She was named Coach of the Year all those three years. Now, earlier this uh, week, or really, I guess it was last week, I can't keep track, but we show you Notre Dame track and field star Greg Dennis signing on for the high jump with SEMO. But this year, boy, it's been a real challenge for Dennis. After finishing second in the state last year in the hurdles, third in the high jump, he's been hobbled this season with shin splints. But... Dennis is glad to be back and hoping to make a comeback this weekend in districts. Not having that, that friendly, you know, thing that's been going back and forth the last couple years on the team, you know, that, that's definitely difficult. Um, but just trying to keep my head up and just, you know, get out here whenever I can and just keep putting in the work, whatever I can do to stay healthy and, you know, just come into districts and hit it hot. He had a really big year last year and he, he knows what he's doing. He's ready for the next level. So this year we're just trying to hang on to what we had, stay healthy and see what we can get for three more weeks. Notre Dame will host the district track and field uh, meet this Saturday. It should be tremendous. Also, we're talking about some signings. And we begin at Notre Dame High School. Haley Welter signing on to join the cheerleading squad at SEMO. Welter was outstanding. School spirit put in a ton of work. And now she gets to cheer for the Red Hawks next season. Congrats to Haley Welter. More signings to talk about. Perryville's uh, Hallie Wingert. Uh, signing on with William Woods University for track and field. Certainly a much deserving uh, accomplishment for her. She was tremendous as well. Congrats and good luck. And finally, congratulations to Puxico senior Duncan Crabb for signing on to play college hoops at Crowley's Ridge in Paragould, Arkansas. Certainly the, the best of luck as we look forward to seeing these athletes at the next level to really make 
things happen. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to keep talking about it. We'll be back after this.